Um, so we had news this morning. Uh, let me show you um, how to trade a small time frame. Uh, I'm using a larger time frame into a smaller time frame. So we had news this morning. News came out, a CPI news. And the rule of thumb is don't look for any trade setups until you are uh, you want to not have any positions five minutes before news and, and typically to make it easy five minutes after news. But then you can start looking for setups. So we had the market that, that uh, opened up and we started looking for trades at 835. So 835, we had no setups coming here. And then all of a sudden, we started looking for setups when we come into an FCR into a Momo. So what you want to do, if you're going to use a larger time frame into a smaller time frame, and this is strictly for trading off a small time frame, one, you're going to look for an FCR on the larger 120.20, meaning you want to come down into the zone. You want to come into the zone here. This is a 120.20. You want to come into the zone. You want to come into the zone here. And that qualifies you right there to look for trades on the smaller time frame. Until this or this happens, meaning we had a trend change here. We went from red to green. So we're buying only. Green zone. Buys only. Just like now. I just said we're looking for a trend change coming up because we broke inside a high value area. I was right. It switched over right after I said it. There is red. Now we're looking for sell setups. We're looking for sell setups. We're looking for an FZR to come up into the zone, hit an FZR, and then we're going to look for the specific setup I'm going to show you right now. So the first thing you want to look for if you want to trade a larger, if you want to let a larger Uni Rinko set the trade up, but then trade off a smaller time frame over here, smaller Uni. So this is a 120.20. The first thing you got to do is get into the zone here or get into the zone here or the trade setup we're looking for now. It'd have to get into the zone, retrace back up here, which it has not. So let me get this done. We'll look for a trade setup coming up real quick. So once the market came out into the FCR and it came out of the FCR, you can look for a smaller time frame entry. Here is where the larger time frame, I just showed you that chart, the 120.20, this is where it had the FZRs, right? I just marked them up for you in a larger time frame. So you want to see the price get away from the FZR. Here's where is it was an FZR also on the larger time frame I just showed you. Then you can strictly look for, this is a 113.13. This is where you look for only momentum setups. Only momentum setups. You're not trying to catch a falling off knife on a small time frame on the FZR. Because what if it breaks right through that zone? We don't want to do that. We want to catch a higher low and let the arrows fire when there's momentum in the market. Momentum is coming in the market to drive price. So what happened was this is where a larger time frame got outside of the FCR, turned, turned green. This is where it turned green here, fired an arrow off our larger time frame, off an FCR, qualified FCR. But if you don't want to take that off the larger time frame, then you can trade off a small time frame. Wait for price to get away from the FCR and look for a MOMO. What you're going to start looking for once the arrow fires here, am I above 20? Yes, that's an entry. Am I above 20 on this arrow? Look how the oscillator is above 20 when the arrow fires. Yes, that's an entry. The tweezer, two dojis in a row with an arrow, that's an extreme MOMO, one of my favorite because it's above 80. That's a blow off rally. That's an entry. There's your Momo setups, these three arrows off a small time frame, off a 113.13 after the 120.20 qualified the trade. These come up on a daily basis, but you got to wait for them. They're very, very explosive by nature because you're letting a larger time frame get price moving and you're trading a shallow pullback off a small time frame off the 113.13. So use a 120.20 and then use a 113.13. And this works on all markets, all futures, all stocks, all currency, crypto markets, doesn't matter, same type of setup. There's your 120.20, got out of the FZR, there's your Momo that dried price, and then we come over, and this is a nice move. This is not a small move. Your fill is the highest bar, anywhere between 91 half, 92. Your potential was all the way up to 17. So you're talking about a nice, big, over 20, almost 30 point S&P point run, small stop. 
Then we get an FCR on the, here's a 12020 FCR, fire the arrow here, this box. Watch for these setups, all, all markets. Then what you're waiting for is you're waiting for the small time frame, this is a 11313, uni. You're waiting for what? Produce a Momo, a Momo, when the arrow fires here, it has to be above 20, it's above 20. There's your entry. The higher this bar would be a fill, anywhere between 40.10 to 40.10.5. I said that's my break off blow off rally if it happens today, and it sure did, 40.10. The high was 40.21 three quarters, over 10 S&P point potential. So here is an over 10 S&P point potential on a small stop, entry here right here with the Momo, using a 20 to set up and a 113.13 to get in. And here is a 120.20 with a small stop. 113.13, get in, almost a 30-point potential, 120 potential ticks, and then here's a potential of 10, over 40 S&P ticks, and then over 10 S&P points. Now we rolled over, I said look for a possible trend change, and what do we have? We have two extreme Momo shorts off a small time frame. I said look for a possible trend change off the small time frame, it's ticking right now. This is what's called an extreme Momo. An extreme Momo is this. A Momo says, if I'm selling then, I can't get above 80. But what happens when the arrow fires and I'm below 20? That's called an extreme Momo. Watch this. An extreme Momo was here because I was above what? I was above 80 when the arrow fired. How neat is this? Check this out. Arrow fired above 80. Look at the blow off rally. Huge move. 94 all the way up potential of 17. Now this just happened here. I said look for a possible trend change. We're getting back inside my 4010 number, which I told the traders in the room is a key level. I said that's a key level for a break inside or outside. We know that that's 4010. It broke back inside it. I said look for a trend change. Happened right pretty much after I said it. It trend changed a minute later. You got your red dots right there's an extreme momo because what? You got the oscillator stay below 20 when the arrow fired. There's a potential on a small time frame. 402 would be a fill, 402 to 403 uh, uh, quarters, one and three quarters. And it got down to what, 87? So 13, 14 S&P points there off a small time frame, off a small stop. So there's another momentum, extreme momentum entry. So if you're just trading extreme momentum entries or momentum entries off a smaller time frame, there you go. After a CPI report, because you waited for the, the, the zone, Momo, zone off the larger time frame into a Momo. Okay?